Hey, how you doing? Pat here. We are going to change the spark plugs of my 2019 R1250 GSA. I've never done it before. Little background. This bike at about 10,000 miles started to hear like a pinging sound for lack of a better word. Thought I got some bad gas even though it's supposed to have knock sensors. But it's never went away. So I was hoping it would go away at the 12,000 mile service but they didn't have spark plugs to put in. So at 16,400 miles, I'm finally doing it now. It's late February 2021, and we're starting to see some 40, 50 degree days here in Ohio. I need to get this back out of the road. So if you're interested to see how I can make this look difficult, which I will, uh, stick around, stay tuned, and I'll see you after this. As you can see, I pre-loosened this. It's just a bolt down here, the bolt down there, and you loosen up there. I'll try to uh, get some better shots of it and, and include it here. But anyway, we are going to use, I think this is a T25. That just pops right off of there. Get the bugs and everything else out that's still in there. And we're just gonna shove this right back in the hole. Sorry if all that noise is coming through, but that's a sump pump. It's getting really hot out and everything's uh, melting pretty good. But uh, anyway, let me shed some light on this possibly. I don't know if it's gonna help or hurt. But anyway, we pull up on this little gray tab here. And these are kind of a pain. You squeeze in, and it just pulls right up like that, and out it comes. All right, now what do I do with my other tool? I don't know, sitting right here. Anyway, I bought this tool. I forget from who, but it's supposed to help remove this, and that's part of the reason you gotta remove this. So it just slips in there like that. And this sucker is in there. And then it finally comes out. All right, now we'll set this down or it doesn't get dirty. I'll be back in a minute. All right, I don't know if I can get this on camera, probably not, but I always check the spark plug hole to make sure I'm not gonna get any dirt into the hole. So I have this 14 millimeter socket I had to buy because I didn't own one to get up in there and get this removed. As you can see by that, it's not ridiculous tight, but then again, spark plugs never are. One note, when you're loosening this, just remember the wires for this light are attached to it, so be careful you don't do anything to uh, potentially damage those. All right, there's the old one out. Uh, I'll be right back in a minute. I'm gonna go grab the old one. Okay, I have the new one right here. And at this point, I'm gonna insert a picture. You can compare the new socket, the new socket, listen to me, I can't even talk the new spark plug versus the old I don't know it looks a little bit like the old one it's definitely got some wear to it all right let's get this new one in just want to be real gentle you don't want to take a chance of damage or anything just screw it in by hand and while we're doing this let me give you a little background information at about 10,000 miles this bike started making a noise kind of like uh, engine knock and pinging for lack of a better term under load going up a hill just like you would normally hear a, a pinging sound when the 12,000 mile maintenance was done the dealership didn't have any spark plugs in stock so it didn't get done I have about 16,400 miles on it right now so 
let's hope this takes care of my problem. If not, I don't know what else to think. I've read forums and it seems like there's some kind of, they claim valve, I guess. I don't know, that makes that fluttering sound. <laughs> anyway, let me uh, leave you for just a minute. I'm gonna go grab the uh, coil pack and put it back in. And the notch right there, so it can only go in properly one way. There she's seated. Put that back on, lock it down, and it's literally that simple. I will admit, probably one of the harder part was, was loosening that because you did use Loctite on it, which made the bolts come out uh, very stiff the whole way. How do bugs even get in there, really? Anyway. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but there's a groove down there for this tab. It helps if you line it up first. But you get her all lined back up. Get your screw back in and you are done that quick. Now I did the other side already and filmed it, but <laughs> guess what? I had my camera screwed up and it didn't record anything right, so I had to come to this side of the bike and record it for y'all. That gave me a little bit of benefit. Honestly, the hardest part of this whole job was getting that connector off the coil pack the first time just because I was so afraid of breaking something. But as I showed you, if you get that gray tab up, you squeeze in the gray tab, squeeze the connector, and it will come off fairly simply. Let me uh, show you here just real quick. Anyway, this will go back up. You got a bolt right here. Matter of fact, let me uh, do something with this camera. You would normally have you would normally have this bolt right here, but I'm gonna lock tight it and put it back in. You have the exact same bolt that goes in down here, and no, it's not lined up right. I don't know if that's gonna show up. It's kinda hard to do this by myself. Anyway, that would go into there. Way up here is another bolt, and then you put this bolt back in, and that's all there is to it. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you would, give me a big thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button if you happen to be on YouTube. And if you happen to be on Rumble watching this, since I'm on both platforms now, give me a Rumble and subscribe on Rumble as well. Thanks again. I hope you got something out of this. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.